Oh, hello, hello, my year one designers. Hey, today we're going to start our new project all about getting children to eat more yummy fruits and vegetables. And we're going to learn some lovely cookery skills as we go along. So today we're going to be designing a poster to encourage little children to eat more vegetables. The vegetables are a very important part of our diet. I've made you lots of lovely sheets here with lots of different veggies on. And you'll need pens and scissors and some glue. And we're ready to go. Now, do we remember seeing this artist, Archimboldo, uh, Giuseppe Archimboldo, the Italian artist who had a really big sense of humour. He loved to paint people out of all sorts of things, including fruits and vegetables. So we're going to take inspiration from him today and create our own face made out of vegetables, making a little character for the children. So look through all these lovely pictures and start thinking, hmm, what looks like eyes? What looks like a mouth? What looks like ears? have a look through and when you find something you like oh yes this that's a nose shape for me definitely I'm going to cut it out but I want you to be careful when you cut out because I don't want you cutting across other vegetables because other people can use them we want to be careful looking after our planet don't we we don't want to waste resources like photocopying and paper so when we cut out just make sure we're not cutting through other vegetables that we don't need because we can give those to other people to use so here I am I'm just being very careful cutting out my uh, vegetable. This is a butternut squash. It's very delicious, roasted and in soups. Very nice indeed. Lots of uh, nice spices go well with that. So I've just cut it out and that's going to be my first part of my face. My first feature is going to be my nose. Now I'm looking for some eyes. Oh yeah, I think tomato eyes would look good. I could have gone for carrot eyes, olive eyes, all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, I think the cucumber would look good as well. So have a look through and find some eyes that you like. Now they don't have to be matching either. I've decided to go for two tomatoes and it looking the same, but you don't have to. I'm going to speed up the film now because you don't need to watch me cutting out. But I'm doing okra for my eyebrows and I'm going to choose, yep, a pea pod for my mouth. Mushrooms, going to cut those in half to my ears. And I think I'll go for lettuce for hair. Nope, changing my mind. I'm going to go for some asparagus for hair. OK, and when I finished, I'm just going to tidy up my desk. I'm not going to throw any of those photocopies away and I'm going to begin to glue them down. I'm going to start with the asparagus because it's underneath the butternut squash. So I'm just going to start with that. And it just needs literally one blob of glue. That will do. And I put that in there, making sure I'm not going over my words. I'll need for later. And a couple of blobs on my butternut squash. My big old nose. That's great. And pop it on and then you just slowly build it up overlapping bits that you want to overlap like the tomatoes and when I do the eyebrows I have a think let's have a look because eyebrows if you have them facing down like this they can make the person look angry and I don't think I want the person to look angry because I want to help children think oh yeah I want to eat fruits and vegetables I don't want to be scared of a vegetable monster it's a jolly vegetable person so I'm putting my eyebrows raised up in the center because it looks more jolly and I'm putting on my mushroom ears and you can do this you saw how I cut this mushroom in half to make two ears rather than uh, just keep the full circles. The circles would have been good eyes or maybe good cheeks, but I thought they were quite fun for ears. Now putting on my pea pod mouth and there we have it, lovely. It's now time to colour in the letters uh, of the words there. So we've got our letters and our words to encourage the children to eat more of the good stuff. And the vegetables are good stuff. You can use any colours you like. You can do uh, a different colour for every letter if you want to, however you want. And of course, always remember, write your name where it says designer because you are the designer. Good luck, everybody.